by popular demand, I am going to be doing a video on uh, how to set up your most basic mode of logging setup. Uh, a couple of you have requested how I mount my camera on my helmet and how I got started uh, with mode of logging as far as equipment is concerned. So of course, the very first thing that you might want to have is obviously a camera. So over here I have two uh, that I have used for at least the past two or three years. I began with a contour but that is no longer my main camera and I have now gone with a HD uh, a Drift Ghost S and uh, you might want to take into consideration some important aspects when choosing the camera as far as I'm concerned you really only have three very good choices uh, for a helmet cam either a GoPro right now they have the Hero 5 and then there is the Sony action cam and lastly of course the HG I mean the Drift Coast as I keep mistaking the name again all right so basically how do you choose between the three viable choices is that if you really want to go for something that is extremely good video quality and not much else the GoPro is your best bet and for slightly more practicality with a sacrifice in video quality then that would be the Drift Ghost S uh, with the Sony Action Cam somewhere in between the, diff the reason why I went with the Drift Ghost S was because of its high battery life 3 hours at 1080p uh, 60fps whereas if you try to do the same on a GoPro while the images are a lot sharper on a GoPro they are probably only give you somewhere under 2 hours of footage and recording time. Now the next thing you definitely want to have is one of these. If you have a GoPro then you might need to get something specific uh, to the GoPro as far as microphone is concerned but for me I am using a Drift Ghost S which has a uh, 3.5mm jack at the back so I am using one of these. These are very cheap mono uh, microphones, lavalier microphones that you can get off eBay or from some uh, Chinese website for at most 20 cents to 50 cents a pop you can buy them in bulk 20 a shot because this thing you'll burn out of these things quite fast they they do not last very long so uh, even for the best quality mics they don't last and they don't give marginally any better audio quality so just go for the cheapest one that you can find off eBay get like 20 in one go so that you don't have to ship them all over again then of course um, when it comes to your motor vlogging setup of course you need to be wearing a helmet over here I have three helmets that I regularly use for my motor vlogs of course over here you see my uh, usual the laughing skull helmet that I had used earlier on in my mode vlogging career uh, but I have slowly put it aside because uh, of regulations I mean this visor and this uh, this decal over here doesn't really impair my vision much but due to the laws they are not legal uh, usually in the past I wouldn't be caught with it but recently there's been a lot of uh, enforcement going around so I'm not taking the chances and then of course this is a light uh, helmet that I use with the contour my secondary helmet and lastly I have here my Held Al Qatar which is my main mode of vlogging helmet right now nowadays I use this more uh, for my daily vlogging and uh, riding whereas this one is more for my appearances in front of a camera where you can see me so I keep this on for branding purposes so I usually mount all my cameras on the right hand side if you have a Drift Ghost S or Sony Action Cam uh, the cameras are usually set up so that they are meant to be mounted on the right side the buttons 
are only on the top if you mount them on the right side. If you try to mount them on the left side, the buttons will be at the bottom. And you could try mounting it at the top of your helmet, but uh, it would take a bit more effort to get to the buttons on both the Drift Ghost S and the Sony Action Cam. So at the end of the day, it's still recommended that you mount this on the right hand side. As you see over here, you can mount them a bit higher or you can mount them a bit lower, but I usually choose to mount them a bit lower. So the reason for that is that you can see a bit more of my bike at the front end, my handlebars, my hands, and of course, uh, a bit of, of the front of the bike and the dash, of course, so that it doesn't feel like you are floating in the middle of the road with nothing there which makes it feel unreal. So having it mounted low does make the viewer feel that he's there riding with you, you know, as part of you rather than some disembodied spirit flo floating around on the road. Now, the next important thing is audio. So if you have something like my uh, full face helmet, this uh, SS600 over here, I usually will have the mic hidden under this cheek pad over here uh, and it is pretty much just uh, wound up under this uh, inner liner and then it comes out over here and I buy this 3M cable tidy hooks so that when it comes out here and connects to the camera over here it doesn't you know flay in the wind it's not messy and if the camera is not connected to, to this jack over here at least it is not flapping around hanging around on the helmet so there's a bit of uh, cable management over there now if on the other hand you have something a bit more difficult to mount uh, over here what I have over here is as you can see the same cable uh, management hooks here and you can't really see it but there's another one at the top so these ho two hooks are used to hold a rubber band and that rubber band is used to hold the microphone uh, I need to replace the the, the mounting tape here is coming off so this way it holds the microphone and you don't have to tape the microphone to the chin bar or try and lodge it into this uh, liner over here which can be uncomfortable for some depending on the helmet and the shape of your face and same logic the wire gets wound up over here as you can see it gets wound up around the chin strap inside hidden underneath this uh, liner and then it comes out over here and of course with the cable tidy and it gets let out so that it connects to the camera at the mount location over there so of course if you have a GoPro the options are a bit different you can choose to mount them on the top of your helmet or the side of the helmet but to be honest most people that use a GoPro will try and use the mounts at the center over here so I believe the GoPro has a swivel mount uh, which you should use if you are using that GoPro so that you are able to mount it somewhat in the center or off center and you know have it uh, stay at the chin bar if you're using a full face helmet if you're using a uh, dual sport or, or motocross helmet your other option is to use a mount and mount it directly under the peak or the visor which also is a lot more tidier than mounting it at the top or at the side for the GoPro. Apart from uh, choosing a very good helmet to mount your camera on and a very good camera and of course your mic, you might want to have other things other pieces of equipment uh, for your motor vlogging needs because motor vlogging by itself this is really the most basic setup but to do 
more advanced stuff, you might need to consider getting other pieces of equipment. So for example, over here, I have my Panasonic Lumix GX7. You might want to consider getting a small compact camera like this if you can afford it. If you can do even better, get something like a Sony AS7 II or probably even a Panasonic GH7. You might want to have uh, several lenses. I would recommend having at least a, a basic 14 to 150 millimeter you know, a telephoto lens, you know, zoom lens, so that you cover quite a lot of uh, focal distances. So this, while not absolutely necessary in a mode of vlogging setup, is a very good thing to have if you have it. Another thing you might want to have is this. This is my DJI. Give me a second. So this is my DJI Osmo. Uh, if you can afford one this is pretty cheap they cost about 600 uh, this is very good for getting stabilized panning shots if you plan to do uh, video reviews of bikes so that when you get that vanity shots this camera will stabilize the footage and give you very very smooth pan shots around the bike and of course you will need an LED flash or LED lamp. Uh, the LED lamp is usually not absolutely necessary since as a model vlogger, you will probably be taking your footage out in the open sun. But in the rare event that you are going to be doing more professional stuff like stunt videos, you know, uh, very beautiful looking videos that Red Bull and uh, Icon Motorsports always shoots. You might want to have one of these. In fact, you might want to have several of these uh, with tripods and large diffusion uh, screens to diffuse the light, make things look nicer and uh, probably get something even bigger than this. I usually use this because I am shooting solo, but if you have a crew, you might want to get several of these uh, that are four times the size. They will be very useful in shooting indoor scenes and nighttime shots. And of course, uh, if you run solo, you might want one of these. This is a tripod. I'm not going to unpack it, but you know what a tripod is. A tripod is very useful to have. Uh, so that's pretty much the most basic set of equipment I have for my own motor vlogging setup. Of course, I do have a lot of other stuff that I don't show you. You might want to also consider investing in very good editing software. I personally use Sony Vegas Pro uh, as my most basic editing software. You can try Adobe Premiere Pro if you choose to. If you are even more you know, basic and you would like not spend the same amount of money as I did on software, you can choose to go with Movie Maker, which is free of charge, but there are inherent limitations to using uh, Windows Movie Maker. So if you have the opportunity, you have the money, please go ahead and invest in good software like Sony Vegas Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you have enough money to go ahead, one step ahead, you might want to get something like Adobe After Effects. That is all for this particular video. I hope you found all of this educational and it's going to help you in your future productions. And I wish all of you the best of luck. If you like this video, do give me a like and thumbs up. And of course, if you are not subscribed to me yet, give me a subscribe on my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out.